Mika, after what you guys are going through in, in 2019, losing to, to this Oregon team, and then to be back here tonight uh, in a you know a new venue in that, and to be able to beat them twice the way you guys did in the last three weeks, what what, what are you feeling right now? It's nice to be on the other side of it, you know, <laughs> have the confetti fall on us. But um, it really hasn't kicked in yet, but it's fun celebrating with all the guys. Um, definitely well-deserved for everyone. You know, everyone worked hard, everyone prepared. Uh, I think this is a great storybook ending to uh, the, the season. So. And Mika, just to kind of follow up on what you just said, does this, does this feel more satisfying just because there were – just because that there was some disappointment in 2018 and 2019 not being able to finish, is it more s satisfying now? Oh, for sure. Um, in our in our players' meeting before the night before the game, uh, I got up and you know I told everyone that feeling is not something that you want to feel, uh, but I believe that we can do it, and everyone just needs to believe. And I believe uh, I feel that everyone bought in, uh, everyone believed, and you know we saw the result of that tonight. Everyone was playing together. Uh, where the offense was slacking, the defense picked up. Where the defense was slacking, the offense picked up. Um, I feel like we played, you know, great team football. So, <clears throat> two weeks ago, you guys held Oregon to their lowest amount of rushing yards. Tonight, the second lowest amount. Both times, less than a hundred yards. That's the only time it happened all season long. How'd you do it? So, like, for our defense, our D line especially. Um, I don't know. I kind of thought of this model, but I said, you know what? If we stop the run, then we can have fun. You know, like we can start pass rushing, you know, getting to the quarterback. But, you know, we're not going to be able to do that if we can't stop the run. Um, so everybody just bought in, Simon Sound football. Um, nobody's perfect, uh, but for the most part, everyone was executing. So that, that's, all, that's all good run defense is, is execution. And so I feel like we did that. Mika, the team has obviously talked about how this season has been for Ty and, and Aaron. Mm -hmm. I mean, kind of break it down to us, how, how that kind of impacts everything that you've done and kind of what drives you as well as what it's like to be able to now get that for them. You know, those are our brothers, for real. Um, you know, we had a lot of motivation going into the season, uh, but losing Aaron in the middle of the season, that, you know, that, that was tough, um, especially someone that, you know, that was around us and, you know, who was really close to Ty. Um, and for something tragic like that to happen, uh, definitely motivated everyone. And, you know, like we say, 22% better every day. You know, just, this was for them. This really was for Aaron Lowe and Ty Jordan so that we could etch your name in history. Because, you know, if we didn't if we didn't win tonight, it would have just been, you know, like a cool story. And, um, but, you know, now though, when they look at the 2021 Pac-12 champions, uh, they'll always remember 22 and Aaron Lowe and Ty Jordan. With, with that, the Rose Bowl comes on January mm -hmm. 1st, 2022. What do you think that means to be able to have that opportunity to, to be able to do that? So they sent us a video um, <clears throat> earlier today that they were gonna release during the stuff. Um, and I, I think Jeff Rudy said it, you know, there's 22 is a lot this year. Uh, so I don't know, we'll see. Hopefully the trend continues. Just gotta keep preparing like how we've been doing. Uh, making sure you know everybody's doing stuff right. It seemed pretty clear in the weeks leading up to this game that there would be a lot of Utah fans traveling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when you came out for warmups, were you know were you at all taken aback by just how much red there was in the stadium? I was for sure. It's like it's almost like we were at Rice Eccles. You know, I feel like we would have had more if they would have sold more tickets to the Utah fans, but. That was a lot, especially you could tell the difference between our third downs and their third downs. Like when we was pumping the crowd up to, you know, because that, that helps the defense a lot um, with, with the crowd noise and stuff. So it was definitely an advantage for us to have lots of fans there. And I'm glad we were able to give them, you know, something to remember, a good show. Trevor Allen, KSL Sports, uh, for, for both of you, but especially Devin, have, you haven't been through those, those championship games before to see you guys finally get it done, seeing all of the, you know, celebrations and, you know, the roses passing around. Just what are you feeling right now? Um, it's really surreal right now. Um, it's slowly coming to me, but um, I'm just just so excited. Just, you know, just filled with joy and excitement, you know, for everyone on the team, you know, who, who's just sacrificed these last, 
nine months of just, you know, giving everything they have. And, I mean, this is the outcome of that, and I couldn't be any more proud of my team. Uh, Josh Newman, Salt Lake Tribune. For both of you guys, how satisfying is this, um, just given what's gone on um, for the last nine months with uh, the two tragedies? Um, as satisfying as it gets, honestly. And just to know that we did honor them the right way. And, I mean, up to this point, you know, we, I mean, we did everything we can just – for them, you know, um, it's as satisfying as it gets. Yeah, I mean, right, right. What Devin said, it just it it it, it kind of etches their name in history too, and and that's really what we we talked about doing all year and really wanted to get done, and we did that. I'm happy for that. Grateful for this team. Devin, with the uh, you know, obviously with everything that you guys have been through, do you feel like that? prepared you for some of the adversity that you guys faced tonight? Um, I definitely believe it did. Um, you know, it built a lot of toughness in us and resiliency, but at the same time, I also believe that, you know, they were there guiding us throughout the whole season and, and you know, they were able to help us, you know, create things that, you know, I don't think we ever would have done without them. And so, um, you know, just them being there with us throughout the season, you know, just helped us tremendously, but also, you know, the, the resiliency of everyone on the team to, to endure something like that and to still find a way to, to fight back and, I mean, get to this point is just incredible. Sam, for you two on that one, just with the turnovers and everything, to continue coming back, uh, you know, and, you know, leading the offense to, to scoring. Yeah, we always talk about having a, a one play at a time type of me mentality and really just focus on that and, yeah, Things aren't always going to go your way over the course of a game. You just have to stay with it and keep believing, and, that, and that's that's what the heart of this team is. We always believe that we can do it, no matter no matter what the circumstances, and that's that's why we're we're so successful. Cole Bagley with the Daily Utah Chronicle. Devin, can you take me through that interception, what you saw, how you made it happen, and then what kind of impact do you feel like feel like that had on the game? Yeah, um, initially started out, you know, I think. He was feeling a little bit of pressure, and so he just tried to squeeze it in there. But I'm, you know, feeling the route in front of me the whole time, and I just jumped it. And, um, you know, it was just an incredible feeling, you know, just to be able to help my team and, you know, give them a boost of momentum. And, I mean, really, I think uh, I think we scored right after that or not too, not too long after that. But, I mean, just to give my team a boost and, you know, help them, especially early on, is, is definitely, you know, uh, an incredible feeling. Hey guys, obviously, you know, fans were a little nervous that, uh, you know, beating a team twice in the same season is tough. You guys seem undeterred by anything. I mean, what, what was it that allowed you guys to just be in there and just not let anything really shake you and just kind of take it to them? Um, you know, I believe um, the majority of this team has been through, you know, an experience like that. You know, a lot of these guys were there in 2019, and so we knew what the atmosphere was going to be like. And, I mean, you know, having a lot of Utah fans helped as well, but understanding – the moment and, you know, something we preached all week is that, you know, we can't let the game get bigger than what it is because it is still is a football game. And, you know, as as much as everything is on the line, you know, it's still a football game. And so I think everyone just did a great job of, of handling that and understanding that as long as we, we play like we've been playing all season, you know, we'll be successful. Cam, you knew coming into this game, especially you know two weeks ago, you guys handled them pretty good. That that, that they were going to come in motivated on on defense, and they ended up showing by by making some plays. Just how how uh, critical was it for you guys to be able to get get past some of the turnovers and you know just really try to to keep the offense flowing? Yeah, back to that one play mentality. We we just attack it one play at a time and just really try to go out every every chance we get and make sure that we're taking advantage of what whatever we were whatever situation we're facing then. The last play doesn't matter. No, no matter you know, whether it was a touchdown, a pick, it doesn't matter. We we just got to go on to the next. Uh, here in the back, for, for either one of you guys, I think it's fair to say you guys are, have gotten better as a football team throughout the season. Are probably playing your best football this season right now. Is there a sense of like the Rose Bowl's no like consolation prize by any stretch of imagination? But is there a sense of like can we get more than just one more game? And how nice would it be in future years to reward teams that get better over the course of the season to you know. Uh, be rewarded for that, essentially. Yeah, um, you know, I just, 
I definitely think we are, um, you know, a top tier team. And although we didn't start off uh, necessarily the way we wanted to, I think, um, you know, especially as the season progressed, you know, I think they should take into account, um, you know, just teams getting better. If you're referring to like the college football playoff stuff That's like what, that. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah, <laughs> I think. Um, yeah, I think you know they should just take that into account as far as. You know, we may not start off the best, um, but, you know, teams can get better throughout the season. I wouldn't mind seeing a playoff bracket expand a little bit, just have more teams in there. That would be nice. For sure. <clears throat> Tribune. Um, it was pretty clear in the weeks leading up to this game that there would be a pretty large contingent of Utah fans here. As you guys came out for warm-ups, were you at all surprised by just how much red was in here tonight? No, I was expecting it. I, I knew that, that the Utes were going to travel and they were going to do a great job getting down here, making sure that, that they were there at the start. We were out there about two hours before, and we were already seeing, seeing a bunch of bunch of red out there in the crowd and saw little little speckles of, of, of green, but we, we definitely had a sea of red out there, so that, that, that definitely was in our favor. Yeah, I second, that, I second that as well. I mean, I think, you know, we have the best fans in the nation, and, you know, I just love the way they travel and, you know, everything they do, I mean, even at home, you know, they, they've been showing up all year. And, I mean, I don't even know how long our um, full capacity record is. It was 12, 7? 12 years. 12 years, you know. Um, I mean, that's incredible. And so it was no surprise to me whenever they all showed up. And, you know, I mean, they were allowed the whole game. And they're the whole game. <laughs> Devin, you've always always been a team first guy, but I mean, you're defensive player of the game today, or well, MVP of the game. Sorry, what what does it just mean to you personally to get that, especially in a season like this when you decided to come back? Um, it feels amazing. It just you know it's you know the best feeling in the world, especially being my first championship. But it also feels even better knowing what this team has been through and knowing you know why we did it and you know who we did it for. And I mean, it just it's an incredible feeling, something I'll never forget.